The Explosive Ordnance Disposal Department of the Nigeria Police has distributed equipment to its units and base commanders ahead of the general election. The equipment donated by the United Nations Mine Action Service through special procurement, uh, the Commissioner of Police, uh, Zana Shatima, says will further help rid the country of improvised explosive device. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu has details. As the general election draws near, most security agencies are meeting to perfect their security arrangements. One of such meetings is this conference by the Explosive Ordinance Disposal Department of the Nigerian Police with the theme Proactive and Strategic EOD CBRN Security Coverage during 2023 general election. As I charge you all to strengthen the following operational measures, fortification of security at all explosive magazines, intensive screening of persons and cargoes at major points of entry and exits, seaports, airports, and international land borders. Intensive sweeping of collection centers to detect and render safe any hazardous um, device during the election. Prompt emergency response to IED incidents to manage the situation before it causes public panic. The CP revealed that the department has been responding to improvised explosive device emergencies across the country without making it public. On 12 December 2022, EOD Base 2 already recovered three IEDs, three pieces of uh, non electric detonators, three strands of safety fuse, and three pieces of high explosive at ANIC headquarters already. Also on 15 December 2023, Base 25, 35 Abakaliki recovered 30 IEDs, 239 pieces of non-electronic detonators, 14 pieces of prime initiators, one roll of safety fuse, and 101 pieces of high explosive. Equipment distributed includes electronic control measure frequency jammer, Viking Dictation Night Hawk, Pack Eye Backpack Radiation Dictator, amongst others. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.